Hello everybody, it's Christy. Well, I am here to um, work on my memory decks um, cards for a swap and um, we're doing a memory decks card Christmas theme with a shaker element. And so I worked on mine and this is what I came up with and I think it turned out really cute. And so I knew I wanted to do something with a gingerbread and then um, <clears throat> I had been chatting with my friend Anna and I was trying to figure out like what's kind of designed to cut out in the middle. And she goes, what about a heart? And I thought, oh, perfect, good idea. So thank you, Anna, for that inspiration there. So I did, I cut out the little, um, I cut out the little heart with a die and then um, that became my little shaker element. So super cute. This one is mine. I had a little incident with the uh, red tinsel and there's too much of it in there. And so it kind of overshadows all my other little shaker bits. And so um, this one I'll keep for myself just because you can't see all the little goodness inside, but it's so cute. Um, for my little gingerbread, I used a Stampendous die and it is called Gingerbread Baker. And it's, um, like I said, by Stampendous. And I just had it. Okay, that's hilarious. Where did it go? I seriously, I just, I just had it. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> okay, so I used, um, this is the Gingerbread Baker set. And it's really cute. You've got, um, a lot of really fun elements. You can die cut out a little hat, an apron. There's a bowl, a bow tie. There's a couple sentiments in it. You've got a face and some little circles that make buttons. And then you've got like frosting type trim. And it's really, really cute. And then you have a bow. Um, I already said the bow, the bow die. So I took just the gingerbread <clears throat> and I die cut out eight of those because I'm making four cards. And so I cut out eight of those just from craft card stock. And then I used this heart die from Ellen Hudson. And I don't even know the name of it because I normally put a label up here and I didn't on this. Uh, but I do know it came from Ellen Hudson. And um, it's just, I used the second smallest die and just ran it through my die cutting machine and cut out the little heart shape. Then I took this Peachy Keen Snow Cutie Face Assortment set and I used the one inch face and stamped that down. And then I used a Prismacolor pencil in the color is rose and I just gave them some cute little cheeks. And then I accented, I accented the cheek with um, my white uh, gel pen. Oh, how to take my dessert out of the oven. <laughs> my uh, son and, his, and daughter in law are coming over um, in a couple hours, and we're going to have our traditional day after Thanksgiving sandwiches, but it's like not the day after, it's Saturday and not Friday because they were hunting. And so uh, they are coming over, and we're going to do our little traditional sandwiches. And I watched, oh gosh, it must have been about 14 years ago when Emerald Lagasse had his cooking show that he did in his home. Um, oh gosh. Oh, I loved that show. And he did, uh, Thanksgiving week. He did a day after Thanksgiving sandwich and it was, um, you did, you took a baguette and I get the kind that, you know, kind of like the brown and serve kind. So I get the long baguette that's a brown and serve. And then you cut it like into six inch, about six inch lengths, and then you slice it open. And then you do whole cranberry sauce, uh, turkey, uh, stuffing, and then you lay a piece of Havarti cheese over it. And then you put them in the oven and bake them at like 350 for about 15, 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, guys, it is like the best. <laughs> it is so good. Oh, it's so delicious. And so we actually didn't get to do those last year because um, I had been exposed to COVID from a coworker. And so we were in, had to start quarantine the Monday of Thanksgiving week. And so we had to be home and didn't get to celebrate with our family. And, um, and then we didn't have, um, we didn't do turkey at Christmas. So I'm very excited about this 
today. I'm super excited. So I made some dips and I've made a pecan pie dump cake and I'll put the recipe below. It is so good. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So I did all that today and they're coming over. So I'm looking forward to that. And my daughter-in-law and I are going to do some crafting. Um, I think she wants to make some Christmas cards. I need to make Christmas cards. And, and so I think we'll get the table set up and just um, do some crafting too. And I need to do some, make some shirts for Hudson's second birthday, which is next weekend. And so I need to get the file loaded and get that cut. I got to do that. So anyway, let's get back to this. So I made my little gingerbread guys. And then um, I just used some scrap. Um, to be honest, I know I have acetate, like the window sheets from Stampin' Up. I have a lot of it. Um, I can't find them to save my life. I don't know what I did with them. So I was looking through my... Um, just my specialty kind of papers. And I had this clear acetate um, that had a pattern on it, but I thought, oh, this is perfect. I have some areas I can cut out and I know I can use, like I could have used packaging or something like that, but um, I just went ahead and cut out some of the clear sections that didn't have any printing. And I used that for my little window. And then on the inside, if you can see, I've got some iridescent stars, there's some white hearts, there's the red tinsel glitter, there's some little Christmas bulbs, and then there's little tiny gingerbread. So I hope you can see that. They turned out so cute. I really do like them. They're sweet. So that's what I did. And then I inked around the edges with Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. It gives them just that little baked look. And that is what we have for our little shaker element. And then... For um, the base, I just did the 110 pound cardstock, stamped my sentiment, uh, my little handmade by, did the month and the year. And then I took um, just some of the pattern paper and die cut it out with the same <clears throat> with the same die and glued it down. Typically, I would like sew around my my cards, but I just decided I wasn't going to do any sewing um, this time. So we have that, and then I've got. Um, two pieces. Well, I had a one by, I cut some one inch strips and then I cut the one inch strips down to a two and a half inch. Yeah. To a two and a half inch length. And then I just banner cut the edges. And so I will glue those down, but I just, I need to ink the edges of this first. I hope you all are doing well and enjoying your um, post-holiday Thanksgiving time if you're in the States. And if not, I just hope you guys are having a great a great weekend. Um, I am. I love it's four-day weekend and I love that. And then we just have a couple weeks and it's Christmas. I can't believe that. So crazy. So, so crazy. Um, all right, so I've got my little banner pieces and I inked the edges of those and I'm going to put one up here at the top and I'll kind of overhang maybe about a quarter inch and then the other one will be down here and overhang about a quarter inch. Okay, get some glue. I hope this is working. I left my lid off for like a day. I try not to do that. <laughs> I usually don't, but apparently I wasn't paying attention. All right, glue that down. Oh, yesterday my mom and I went to uh, the Van Gogh, Beyond Van Gogh, and oh gosh, if you haven't, if it comes to your area where you can go to it, oh, I would recommend it. It, it was so amazing. We went, um, um, so it was in Portland at the convention center and we, um, we did that and, um, I will try to insert a couple pictures, um, of that. So I'll insert a couple photos and you guys can check it out.
seriously, <laughs> the most relaxing hour because um, it takes you about an hour to go through. And wow, incredible. So, so incredible. Um, so we did that yesterday. Please stop. So then I've punched out two, um, two circles from pattern paper. And these are two inches, two inch circles. And I'm just going to ink the edge. Sorry, Rangers in here bopping about with his squeaker toy that he has squeaked so much that it's dead now. Thank heavens for that. That thing is annoying. All right, let's see. I'm gonna glue them down. Ranger, no. Um, I'm gonna glue these down. He's shaking his elephant and it is hitting my trolley, my little trolley cart. You are a hot mess, dude. You need to stop. Okay, and he's a no. All right, let's get some Fabri-Tac and I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna cut off a piece of this eyelet. And I just want just a little bit. Maybe I need it to be a little bit longer than that. Oh, Penny's in here too. We, we have got everyone in the room today. But she's so quiet. <laughs> she's so dainty and quiet. Not like Mr. Mack Truck. He just is so destructive. He's not destructive, but he can let you know he's here for sure. Okay, and I'm rambling on, but say la vie. Okay, I think, yes. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of Fabri-Tac. Oh, and then I'm going to get my... Um, Um, oh, here it is. I get my little silicone spatula thingy and spread it. So then we've got I think I um so then all right okay need to get this there we go that dried glue off there okay then I have a one and a quarter inch circle. I punched um, a, I stamped this little sentiment and it's from a Unity stamp set. And um, it's from, oh, it's from this little Unity set. Very cute. So it's have a holly jolly Christmas. And then I've got a one and a three eighths inch of the white glitter paper. And then a one and a half inch of this rose gold. And I'm going to glue those together. And I'm thinking I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac. Sorry, I'm paint. My husband's taking the dog out. Oh, he brought him back. That's good. Okay. 
right. He left him outside one day for like three hours and thank goodness I ended up finding him. He was down at the boat launch and we live in a very rural area and he could have been taken and um, he's got a collar that has my name and phone number on it, but that doesn't mean anything. People steal animals all the time. So, and he's super trusting, so he would have gone with anybody. And so I was out driving around trying to find him and oh, it was a nightmare. So I have to pay attention, make sure he gets back in the house. <laughs> So anyway, okay. I love this rose gold glitter because it just kind of looks like a cookie. I think it looks good. All right. So we have our little sentiment. I'm just going to set that aside to dry a little bit. And then we need to glue our little gingerbread on. And I think I want it to go um, about there. Yeah, about there. And I need to take, which I'll do before I mail them off, but I need to go and take a little glass cleaner, like a little um, paper towel or something and wipe off because I have fingerprints everywhere. Um, but yeah, then that will go like so. And then I need some foam tape. And I'm going to do two lengths, two height, two little pieces of this so that it's a little bit higher. Yeah, perfect. And then Mercy. They are wound up. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on my foam tape. Glue it down. I want it right there. Okay, and then I'm going to use Fabri Tac on my little gingerbread. And just going to do glue down here. So it'll go like like that. Okay. Perfect. So cute. <laughs> I always love those little gingerbreads. They turned out so cute. I didn't use hot glue on my little shaker because um Sometimes um, when you use the hot glue, it can disrupt your shaker part and kind of make things, it can condense on the inside because it's so hot. And so I've just learned my lesson to not, um, to not do that. So, and that goes there. Oh, and of course I've got glue seeping out here. Okay. Clean that up. Perfect. Excellent. So look at, isn't that cute? I just think he turned out super adorable. So that is my little memory decks shaker. So now I just need to make up the other two. And um, I thought, oh, let me show you a couple things I picked up. Um, Let's see. Okay, I need to put this down. There we go. I got a couple things. So I really like the Tim Holtz, um, the Tim Holtz mini clips, but they have gone out of, they are out of uh, circulation now. So if you find them, they discontinued them. So if you can find them, that's great. Um, 
but so I bought a couple packs um, and then I also found these on on Amazon and so I got a pack of gold and silver of those little mini paper clips because I really like the small ones I think they're great in projects so I found those and then um, my friend Linda I'll put a link to her video um, she has these really great library cards with a pocket and so the library card um, the library card pocket comes on a little adhesive sheet and so they're um, you can just stick them down and then um, it comes with the little card and so I'll put a link to her video and you can um, can check those out but these were really great so um, thank you Linda these were awesome I can't wait to use those I'm was out I was out of these um, pockets so this is really cool so I picked those up from my friend Linda and then I ordered this tab punch from Amazon so we're gonna see how it goes um, I thought what I was ordering was the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch, but I got this instead. And I need to go back and look at the listing because I think I might have I might have made a mistake. Um, and I've done that once before, uh, so it might be my fault. But anyway, I got this tab punch, and it's a random brand I've never heard of before. Um, and I think it probably came from China, which that's, that's fine. I'm not trying to be negative. I just think that anyway, oh, look at that punches out. Super nice. Very cool. So I got this tab punch and I can link to it below. Um, but yeah, that was cool. So I got that. And then I, on Etsy, I was trying to find uh, some of the Tim Holtz Christmas stuff. And I had gone to, um, I had gone to Joann's and Michael's, which Michael's, we realized we learned, um, aren't carrying Tim Holtz anymore. Um, and the only thing that they have are some of his, um, like the alcohol inks and oxides and stuff and distress inks. Um, so I was looking online and nobody had, um, I couldn't buy all of these elements from one person. And so, um, either they were out of stock of something or I know it was pre-ordered for a long time, but I found a gal on Etsy and she had a pre-order and I pre-ordered at the end of September. And then they just came, actually just came, uh, yesterday, um, day after Thanksgiving. So I did get, I, and I did buy these at Joann's, um, I did get these at Joann's as well because it was the only thing that they had Christmas at Joann's. And so I picked this one up um, when I bought this on Etsy, but I also have another set of these Christmas paper dolls, which I'm happy about because I'm going to work on my Christmas cards and I want to use these. They're so cute. So I got those and then I got the labels and then the pocket cards, which I'm excited about these. I'm really excited about these. They're really, really cute. So just really great um, collage cards, little journaling cards. So very cute. So I got those. And then I did pick up this Christmas collage tiles. I was excited about that. I didn't get the ephemera because I have... Um, I have ephemera from the last couple years, and so I thought I'm just going to use what I have. And then I did buy the Christmas wallpaper. I love this stuff, and I love, oh, yeah, I love that. So I did get the Christmas wallpaper, and then I got his the Christmas um, backdrops, which are so cool. So very cool. So I'm very excited about that. Um, these are really fun. Sad he's not making his paper anymore, but that's okay. So I did get those. So I'm going to start working on some Christmas projects. Oh, and then I, yesterday, um, my mom needed to go. She was trying to find some. Um, after we were done with our little Van Gogh um, thing, we went to um, Craft Warehouse and uh, they had, they had their Christmas and fall papers were 40% off. So I bought, I don't. I don't need, I don't need paper, but what I do need, um, I, what I needed was something for Christmas cards and Cartabella, 
has the mega pad. And so there's 48 sheets of, of double-sided cardstock. And I love, I love this paper. And I thought, oh, that's really cool. And one of the things I really thought was neat is that they've got the little, um, like the little journaling cards and it's still, um, I think they're like three by four and super cute. So I bought this and I think I'm going to use, um, a lot of these backdrops, um, for the backgrounds on my Christmas cards, because there's a lot of really great neutrals and a lot of great Christmas um, colors as well. And then I'm going to get, I believe I'm, I have the a poinsettia die, and so I think I'll do some die cuts, some poinsettias, and use this paper. And then probably I'm thinking about like doing a craft colored card base, I think. But I also have some A4, um, no, A2, it would be A2 size um, cards in envelopes in white. So I guess I just need to figure out if I'm going to do, um, if I want to do pre-made cards or if I'm going to make my own out of cardstock. So I need to figure that out, but that's like on my to-do list of things to do, like to work on today. And then I also picked up, oh my gosh, guys, I, I need, I need more. Oops. Sorry, Penny. I need more of this paper. I bought three sheets of it. Um, but it's the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage Ancestry, and this is the Legacy of Love pattern. But oh, it is so, it is absolutely beautiful. And I thought, how gorgeous would that be um, just as a backdrop for a tag? You know, it'd make a great page in a journal. Um, it's really cool. And then the backside is, I'm not, I wish they had done something a little more neutral, but it's pretty anyway. Um, but I love this. And I think I might see about, I'm going to order a 25 pack just of this, of this design because I think it's fantastic and I would totally use it all the time. Um, but it's beautiful. So I bought three sheets of that and then I found, um, what else was it that I got there? I think that was it. I got the, yep. I got the three sheets of paper and the little, um, pad. Oh, and then I did pick up some acetate sheets because, um, I just some plain old acetate sheets because I can't find mine. So yeah, but that's what I did. And so I am going to leave you here and I hope that you guys have a fantastic weekend and whatever you do, I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season and Advent starts tomorrow, which is so hard to believe. So I'm, I'm just super excited about this season. You know, we do have so much to be thankful for and so much to you know, really count our blessings. And I know sometimes I'm guilty of kind of being negative Nelly. And so I'm really going to try to not do that. And in part of doing that, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do a, um, like a little advent journal, not like a December daily, but more of like an advent journal, just to kind of talk about, you know, the things that I'm grateful for and to just be more present and centered, um, this holiday season. So, Yes, that's on the plan. So if I end up doing that, if I end up, um, I have some pre-made journals I was thinking, and I also bought one last year. So I might use what I have, but I also might make one for myself. So we'll see, but it'd be very simple, something that I can just journal in. But, and I also want to get back to some memory keeping. I have decided I really, really want to do that as well. So yeah. Okay. I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye.